What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with a brand new video and in this one specifically I'm just going to discuss the differences between electrical engineering, computer engineering, and then computer science. So I remember when I was coming into college I was really wondering like which one will fit best with me because I feel like all of them pretty much involves with tech and it's like I like anything that's tech related so I could literally go into any one and I felt like I had like some experience in each individual one which later on down the line I ended up realizing going into college I pretty much had some experience from high school in every single field but later on down the line I decided to just go with electrical because everyone was telling me that's where most of the hardware type of work is and I knew I wanted to do some like more on the lines of like designing and doing like actual hardware work and working with my hands and doing tech versus just sitting at a computer screen all day. So I'm gonna just explain some of the misconceptions about all of them, the pay about all of them, and just give you guys just like my experience about electrical, computer, and computer science. So I'm an electrical engineer. So starting off with electrical, the positives that you typically would get, and I'm pretty much gonna speak on just like going, being just an average electrical engineer, graduating and typically getting a job. I'm not really gonna go too, too far into like, you know, uh, like a high, 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 like elite electrical engineering graduating from college. I'm just trying to just go with the basics when I talk about all three of the fields. I'm trying to go with the basics. So basically jumping into it, once you pretty much go into an electrical engineering job, you'll typically do something along the lines of like a hardware type of job that'll involve pretty much like schematics, how to pretty much do things or make different products that involves electricity and how to go about making things work and improve and basically go on about making the product more efficient. And when people try to hire people in electrical, they'll more so look at different type of hardware experience, like what have you built, what type of projects have you made, what classes have you took that was more so related and like how to calculate electricity, even though typically you won't really graduate and automatically have a job that specifically do that. But that's just something more so what they look for. They want to look for like what type of electrical work have you done? Like, are you familiar with different type of systems? Are you familiar with like wiring certain things? Are you familiar with how to put a project together when it comes down to the power in the ground basically? So. That's pretty much stuff that they'll want to expect and kind of want to hear what you have to say about those type of classes. When it comes down to actually going to work, you could literally do anything related. Like you could do something that is all the way in computer engineering, all the way as far as computer science. Like you could have an electrical engineering job and you can legit be coding and do everything that a computer science person is in most cases. But on average, what people typically will ask for or think if they're an electrical engineering company, basically they'll want to know like what type of hardware type of work have you done if they specifically want an electrical engineering type of job. So as far as computer, the difference between electrical and computer is more so computer engineers, they get the best of both worlds. So it's like you get the electrical side where it's mostly hardware and it deals with electricity. And then you have the computer science side where it's like it pretty much codes all the electricity and pretty much tell it what to do and how to function and how much electricity go here how much voltage go here it has a good it has a good way of manipulating electricity and the routes that it go and throwing out the ones and zeros uh, making things function and making things work and making codes do certain things and make things move so with the coding you need the coding to make some of the electrical hardware type of things work in some cases, not all the time. There's a lot of electrical stuff where once you have the power, you can pretty much do everything. But in most cases, when it comes down to computer science, you're basically coding your computer or any type of computer related thing or chip or processor to basically do exactly what you want it to do or like automate the system to do whatever you want to do. And it's solely on the computer. Like 100% of your work is nine times out of 10 is gonna be a uh, computer based job. Like if you're jumping into a computer science major, be expected to have your laptop in front of you every single day and you're gonna be coding if you want a computer science type of job. 
When you go to Google and you're a computer science type of person, if you go to Intel, you're a computer science type of person, and you go to any of these companies, Apple, and you say you're a computer science major, they typically expect for you to be at your computer and have some legit type of coding skills or some type of software skills or understanding how to do certain type of programs or anything along that line of writing scripts is solely going to be based on having an elite level of coding you don't have to be legit you don't have to be at a point to where you can make an app but they'll expect for some type of coding skills for you to do for you but you'll definitely be at a desk or solely you'll have a laptop in front of you and you'll be working on code and scripting for the most part. So you have electrical where it deals with the hardware, computer science that deals with the code, how the code works with the hardware, and you have computer engineering. So computer engineering, you typically can have a computer engineering job and you can do either one of these if you want. But typically when it comes down to computer engineering, it's a lot of people that really just don't want to do anything that's related to coding at all. Like pretty much like electrical engineers, they'll say, you know, I like doing stuff with my hands. I like seeing how it works. I like seeing how once you plug this up, this is exactly what's going to happen. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. This is how the light's going to turn on once you do this, this and that. That's pretty much electrical. You don't have anything to do with coding. It's not a whole, whole lot that really go into coding. It's like really basic levels of coding, but it's like, with computer engineering, you need to understand how code works. You need to understand how chips work with the actual hardware. Like it's mandatory for you to understand both worlds really. And then you can also get down and also get some good understanding, good information about actually how to code. So you literally get the best of both worlds. Not saying that if you go in and be a computer, like a computer engineer that you won't be able to have the skills of a computer science person or you won't have the skills of being an electrical engineering person because literally all three can pretty much do all of them above like i'm an electrical engineer but it's a lot that i know about coding like there's a lot of coding stuff that most electrical engineers they don't um have a clue about that's in the industry and been working a while but I had like some coding jobs. I actually did like different coding type of projects before. Like I worked in coding type of jobs. So I understand the best of both worlds. Even though my title is an electrical engineer, I dipped my foot in like all of the areas pretty much. But I wouldn't technically say I'm at the elite level of computer science though. Cause that's just, that's just on a whole nother level. But when it comes down to like computer engineering, having that good coding foundation and electrical foundation, I definitely can say I can hang in that, in that realm a little bit. But so basically that's it. So like I mentioned, um, that would be like the computer science where you pretty much code every day, majority of the time. Computer science, um, as they do. Computer engineering, you pretty much get the best of both worlds. And also with computer engineering, it's more so you also understand the fundamentals and you understand like how computers work and more so like how processors and how chips work. By the way, computer science is more so like you make code and you pretty much automate systems and you do stuff along that line, automate a lot of stuff that goes down like apps and stuff. Like you press this and automatically you do this, this and that. With computer engineering, it's more so where it's like you also need to understand like how processors and how different chips function when electricity is going through it and when you code certain things a certain way exactly how will the electricity flow through it when it actually goes through it? like you need to understand really the best of both worlds so as far as difficult level like difficulty level i'll say I think computer engineering is a bit more challenging because like I said, you really get the best of both worlds. Most people, most people say electrical is way harder than three, but I don't feel like that. But also I've always been working on electrical type of stuff. So it's kind of like, I, I, I can't really, I can't really say, because even going into college, it was a lot of electronic classes that I had already taken. So I feel like I'm not the type of person to really give my best judgment on that because I jumped into college already knowing like a lot about electrical type of work but yeah so I feel like personally I feel like computer engineering is a bit more difficult um I feel like computer science is the most easiest one because 
it's not super, super math based either. It's a lot that has to deal with coding. So if you're the type of person where you can sit at a computer and learn and follow instructions to the T and get, and just really, really like um, understand the fundamentals of exactly how to code, how to do this, how to do that. It's one of those, it's one of those majors where it's like, if you can understand how to sit and learn and go through a whole lot of different tutorials about how every individual thing work without messing up or making mistakes easily and you can have the patience for it you can do the job like that's pretty much it you need to have patience if you want to go into computer science electrical on the other hand it's is it's a lot of math that go into it it's a lot of calculations that you're going to have to need to understand you're going to have to have a strong 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 math base because it goes you have to take every single math class just about when it comes down to electrical engineering by the time you end up graduating you'll pretty much take every single math class versus computer science you may have to take about half if even that and um the math is still difficult like you get up there and take in different types of calculus so in some cases it could get complicated but it's not as bad as electrical where you pretty much going to take just about every single electrical class and in computer engineering you'll also take a lot of math classes too but the way that you take the math classes when it's in computer it's a lot of stuff that have to do with the processes and basically how computers function versus electrical engineering where it has to do a lot with how you have to use your calculus skills and pretty much tie that into electricity which becomes pretty confusing sometimes not even a lot so when it comes down to the schooling wise if you ask me i feel like computer engineering it's a bit more difficult a lot of people say electrical is way more difficult and in computer science it's really do you have the patience to sit there and learn and understand how to code without really complaining and knowing that you're gonna make mistakes and little tedious things like a comma can ruin your entire code of 100, 200 lines of code, one little comma out of place can ruin everything. If you have patience, computer science can be a good role for you, a good job for you. If you're willing to just chill and learn how to go about being a computer science person, and also if you're able to sit at a desk and look at a laptop every single day and code, for eight hours straight you got you pretty much you got it that's that's one of the main things where people say they can't go and be a computer science person because they just can't sit at like a desk or look at a laptop for a long long time and just code and code and code and code like a lot of people that's one of the things where electricals and computer engineers where they just say like they just can't do it because of part of it is just because of that factor that pretty much locked in and a lot of it comes down to self-teaching and you go home and you still teach yourself um, on your laptop about different type of code and things because codes codes get updated all of the time like it's so much stuff that gets scrapped thrown away and now you have to go and make a whole new update about something and then two months later that could end up becoming old and the whole team want to change and go a whole another way about coding it and then you need this person code that person code this person code and then we're gonna put it all together it gets really tedious after a while so if you're that person where you like to you know you're pretty secluded you could really just sit there and just lock in on your computer and code just go for it like that's all you that's you all day it's not a whole lot of people that's willing to do that that's why it's such a that's why it's such a major that's really not broadcasted like that because a lot of people you don't just jump and say that you want to be a computer science person it's something where it's like you're gonna want to already have that mindset of what you're gonna want to do you have to already want to you know kind of have like a feel like oh like you know I did a little bit of coding here and there at home and I kind of like it. I enjoy it. I enjoy my time coding. It was cool. Like I built this, I built that. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help the channel. Definitely go check out my Instagram, DreDaPlug12. And then go also check out my other YouTube channel. I'll have a link down below. This was the channel I started a little while ago. Well, it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a fresh cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts and be looking forward for the next video that drops. And I'm out.